Hi everyone, it's Karen here with a mixed media layout tutorial as a guest designer for my creative scrapbook kit club. Enjoy! The kit I worked with is a limited edition kit and it comes with many different papers and embellishments. This is the third layout I made with the kit and I'm posting all the links to all the other layouts below in the description area along with the products and links. I took a paper from the kit by Julie Nutting from the French Flea Market collection and I cut and I ripped it to create some nice pieces of ripped paper across the page. The background is a Blue Fern Studios Spring Parade paper called June and it has nice diamond shapes in the background. I took the papers that I had ripped and I wanted to stain them to make them look a little bit more antique. So I took the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink from Tim Holtz, put it on my mat, and then sprayed it with some water, and then dipped the papers in them to create beautiful vintage stains. I dipped both papers in them, and then dry them a little bit, and then did this a couple times just to create more stains. This mat that I use in the background cleans really easily. It's by Ken Oliver and I'm really quite pleased with the way that it's been working for me since I got it, which I got it recently and I really really love it because it cleans so easily compared to the other mats I've had in the past. This mat and all the other supplies are listed in the description area below. So as you can see here, I keep on dipping the papers just to make them look more antique. To add a little bit more of a patina effect to them, I took the Cracked Pistachio Distress Oxide ink from Tim Holtz and did the same effect by spraying it on my mat, wetting it, and then wetting my actual paper. It gave this, this really nice patina stains in the background. Once my ripped papers were probably mostly dry, I took some Prima Finaber soft matte gel medium and just glued them to the background. I glued one on top of the other and then sealed them with the gel. Since the edges were still a little bit wet, I was able to roll them out and make it look as if it's an old paper, kind of like an art scroll, and be able to roll them and create these really nice wrinkled areas on, the ba on that paper. While the gel was drying, I cut out another paper that came in the kit from Julie Nutting French Flea Market. And these are pieces of bingo cards and I just cut them up and then did the same thing, stained them using the Distress Oxide ink in the vintage photo color. I also took the chipboard that came in the kit, which is a creative embellishment chipboard, and I did the same thing, I just stained it a little bit with the Distress Oxide ink. I dried them up and then did it again to create some darker stains in the, each of the cards. Then 
I went back in with the cracked pistachio and just added a few patina stains in each of the cards and on the chipboard itself. I took my picture and put it in the center of the layout and put the chipboard around it to frame it. Then I took some of the bingo cards and just rearranged them underneath the picture. Then I took some double-sided foam tape and just glued those cards down and the photo so I could have them still so I could add the other embellishments. Then I glued the chipboard frame with some Fabri-Tac glue. I started rearranging the flowers on the background. I took many different flowers and vines from different packages that I had in the kit and just arranged them around the page. Then I just glued them using the Fabri-Tac glue. I find this glue really good for gluing any type of flower or an embellishment into a scrapbooking page because it never moves after it's dry. I felt the white flower was way too stark white, so I took some of the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink, sprayed it on my mat, and then just wet it and inked the flower to create a matching flower for the rest of the layout. Since my picture was beach themed, I took some shells that I had collected in some of my travels and I added them in between the flowers. Then I took some cheesecloth and using again the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink, stained the cheesecloth so I could add it in between the embellishments. I heat set it and once it was dry, I cut it into pieces and started putting it in between all the embellishments.
I love how this simple household product can actually create such beautiful texture in the background, especially in, some, in beach layouts. And I just tucked it in underneath some papers, flowers, and different areas to just add a lot of texture and enhance the look of the, the theme of the beach. Then I took the fabric tag glue again and glued my shells and the cheesecloth into the background. I could have left the layout the way it was, it looked really nice, but I guess I don't know the concept of less is more, I somehow wanted more is more in this one. So I took and ripped some more papers from that French flea market script paper and stained it again using the distressed oxide ink. Then I glued pieces to both top and bottom of my layout and rolled some of the edges to create this really nice distressed look. Then I went one step further and stained another piece of cheesecloth so I could add underneath this distressed area. I really love how this cheesecloth became so distressed like the other one and I just started tucking it underneath the paper and then gluing everything with soft matte gel medium from Prima. I glued the paper and sealed it to the background, then I glued the cheesecloth underneath the paper so it would look distressed. I made sure that the edges were rolled up so it would look really uh, nice matching the whole beach theme. I had to turn my paper around so I could do the top part of the layout. By put, when I was putting the cheesecloth underneath. Finally, I felt like I needed to unify everything by putting some shells on the top of the layout. I even tried to putting some at the bottom, but they didn't fit properly the way I wanted them. So I just moved them around and put them in places where I felt like it would balance the layout.
then I felt like the cheesecloth was had to come down in some way to connect everything together so I brought the cheesecloth down and then I added some flowers that I had left over and some shells to kind of connect everything together and I glued everything using the soft matte gel medium from Prima Finabare. Finally, I took some acrylic paint from Martha Stewart, this is in the tan color, and just added some highlights to the flowers and some of the embellishments. Thank you so much for watching. For more inspiration, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye!